Hello and welcome back to my kitchen once again. I've brought you straight into my kitchen because I want to show you a recipe video. This has been highly requested. By highly requested, there was a grand total of one request for it. Someone asked if we could make roti and if we could make a video on how to make a roti. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I've taken a break from the kitchen for a couple of months now. So I've got my assistant chef today to show you how to do it. Basically, he's been doing all of the recipe videos that I have been promoting on my YouTube video. Most of it, not everything though. So we're going to be making roti today and we're going one step ahead. We are going to make a curry to go along with the roti as well. So you have a little bit more idea and option. This roti is called pole roti traditionally. It's a Sri Lankan dish. Lakshman has done this before and he's just going to do it again. So let me show you the ingredients that we need for the roti first and then I'll show you the ingredients that we need for the curry. We're going to do pole roti and we are going to do a vegetable korma. This is vegan friendly also so if you're vegetarian or vegan you'll be able to use this. You need some table salt to taste. You need some plain flour, that's 300 grams of plain flour. And then you need desiccated coconut. You can take 150 grams of desiccated coconut. We've got slightly lesser there. You need one onion, finely um, chopped. And you need two green chilies, finely chopped as well. You need some water to mix everything and you need a plain bowl so that you can mix everything together. So that's your dough done. Let it sit for 30 minutes and close it so that it doesn't get dry. While we're waiting for the dough to settle, we're going to start our vegetable korma. So these are the ingredients that you need. First of all, you need two chopped tomatoes, one chopped onion, you need one cup of chopped green beans, one cup of chopped carrots, one cup of chopped cauliflower, probably slightly more than that and one cup of um, green peas.
have it. That's how you make roti and the curry to go along with it. With these ingredients and the quantity that I gave you today, you can make about 8 to 10 rotis and that easily serves two people. You can just double it or triple it as much as you want. Super simple. I was surprised myself and it's really quick also except for the half an hour sitting part. So you need to estimate your time accordingly but you can still make your gravy while you're waiting for the dough to settle. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found this useful. If you do make this, share your photo or your video with me so I can see how it's turned up for you. And leave a comment and let me know what you think. If you do this slightly differently, let me know what you think about it as well. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next week. Bye!